kala chana overnight now clean it and add the required water half teaspoon of turmeric powder and the required salt pressure cook this black chana once the first pressure come keep it in slow flame and cook it for 10 minutes in the meantime fry the ingredients now for the chana around quarter coconut 1 tablespoon coriander seeds whole chili if you want more you that you can add if you want less spicy you can only add 2 to 3 then if you have this small shallots you can add otherwise normal onion also one two three small pieces then pepper that you can add around this much pepper you can add if you want less spicy do add according to that this all are according to, to your choice this is the curry leaves now for tadka oil mustard curry leaves uh, very fine cut this shallots and one whole red chili this is only for tadka keep a kadai and add some oil and when the oil is hot add the shallots or coriander seeds when the coriander seeds and the chili stir little brownish then you add the pepper corns curry pata according to your choice i like to add so much uh, curry leaves so i am adding more now you can add coconut now cook it till it becomes golden brown now this is the exact color you need Right then, switch it off. Now it is already cool. Now you grind it very fine. Add water and grind it. Add one tablespoon oil. When the oil is hot, one teaspoon mustard seed. Let it splutter. Now add the chili. finely cut onion curry leaves this adrak this ginger it is optional then it is translucent add the chana now add the masala now This is the correct water. Let it boil for five minutes. This no, this gravy you required because you are eating with the appam or puttak. So you need some gravy. This is the correct consistency. Then switch it off. Now the kadala curry is ready. the chana curry is ready to serve thank you for watching the